Hello everybody, welcome. Here we are. We're having afternoon tea in the pottery. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's about six, six o'clock, and I've just here, what I want to bring you in on is just quickly, I'm just about to close the lid on the kiln here, so you might as well see it. I know you've seen it before, but we learn by, by seeing things more than once sometimes. As you can see, this is a bisque pack, the pots because they've got no glaze on them, could be packed on top of each other. You just have to be careful a little bit when putting things on top of each other that the weight of them doesn't cause them to, to break underneath. So, if, But if you're careful and you use your common sense, all right, you can stack them and put them all on top of each other in a little bit of a, a higgledy-piggledy kind of fashion. Um, I just see the space just down there. Put one of these kind of nut and bolt cut sided ones, they fit in quite quite easily. So what we're going to do now is just light it light it up. So I'm just going to incline the camera just down there a touch. Like that. Um make sure that's off. So the gas on, gas on, matches. Now we want to start with a, a very low flame to start with. A lot of people ask me about firing a kiln and you know, how do you fire a kiln? Well, the way I look at a kiln is a bit, a bit simple. And that is low, medium, and high. <laughs> if you go by those rules, low, medium, and high, you won't go far wrong. Uh, obviously, when you start any firing, you want to have it on low. So low, in the case of a gas burner, is usually a yellowish kind of flame, which isn't too hot. The blue flame is what is much hotter. So we don't want a blue flame at the moment. We want a nice yellow flame to go in there, just caress the pots a little bit, Not nothing too strenuous at the moment. Because remember, these pots are cold. They m more than likely, in this case, are completely dry. But, you know, some of these nut and bolt pots, you just don't know. They look, they look dry on the outside, but on the inside, there could be a bit of moisture. So, just as a precaution, we're going to go really slow. Okay, and that's, that's, that's whatever firing you do, you start slow especially if you've got raw wear in there. So we're going to start slowing it, put the burner in there like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the top of the kiln, the lid. And we're going to just carefully place it in position like that. So, now I'm going to start very slow like this, I said low, medium and high. The next question is, I know, how long, Simon, are we going to have it on low? <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I, I, I would say probably put it on low for a good hour to allow the pots to warm up and it just can depend on the pots a bit. If you're a bit suspicious, no harm in giving it a bit extra time, maybe an hour and a half. But we're going to, even though when I say low, then within the realm of low, you could have low, medium and high, if you see what I mean. So at the moment we're in low, but we're, gonna, we're in low, low. We're in the lowest of the low. Shortly, I'm gonna, we'll start turning it up very slightly to medium low. And then it'll be high low, but it'll still be all in low. <sighs> okay, there we go. Right, let's go back in the studio. Just got some things we've got to carry on with that we were doing. Where's my tea? Oh, don't forget my tea. Also, just gonna 
turn the lights off here. Oh, it's not what not. Right, let's get through into here because yesterday I was in the middle of a clip and uh, we had a a power failure. <laughs> the camera uh, battery went flat, didn't it? Now basically, oh, we're just going to get me out of light a moment. Okay, right, I'm just going to plug this in, it's just it gives me a bit more light down on the, down on the, on the wheel there, oops, so, light is, is kind of important, you know, when you're doing these clips, you've got to get the light, got to get the light right, so, Now what I wanted to do was carry on doing these coggles, which we did the part one, didn't we, yesterday. So I want to do part two today, and that is, gosh, it's going to end up going to be, going to be ending up a long clip. I can see, never mind. Look, this is where I got to yesterday. I just left that as it was. Uh, what I've got to do is I've got to slice off now some just want to do a few to show you that's all really um, it helps to have to cut these off decently it helps different ways of cutting them off I'm going to use a blade of a knife so I'm just going to get this Gonna get this going. So as you can see I've thrown a sort of solid cylinder here. This is completely solid. So what we're gonna do now is insert the knife and cut off a disc. Oh dear, I didn't do that very well, did I? See, I'm. <laughs> you can see, I'm out of practice. Jeepers, that's that's, that's bad. Oh, dear, dear. Now you see that. I'm gonna. If you don't succeed. That is the secret. <laughs> I'm going to use a needle this time, not the knife. The problem with the knife is when you're cutting it in, if you very slightly veer off, it, 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 you know. I may have to do a few of these to get myself back in the way of doing them because I haven't done them for a little while. But these are like the discs I made for the uh, remember the kiln. Oh, there we are. See. So you cut up, you cut them off like that, and you true it up after you cut one off. Stick the needle in again, and off. Okay, now some people have said, "Well, don't know if that's the best way of doing it. Maybe you should just roll out a sausage." and then just chop it off in, in sections. Yeah, well, I'm not saying that's not a valid way of doing it. It, it possibly is. Possibly is. Okay, one more quickly, then we've got to get on to the next stage of making these cobbles. Well, not a very good one. Okay, let's leave those for now. Now, as it happens, let me just cut that off. As it happens, I do have some of these I made the other day. Aha! So, 
So, I'm just going to quickly clean my wheel. Go ahead. Now, here. Okay, so that's how you make the disc. Alright. Now, look, don't worry, when you make them, when you make them, they, 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 they can look a bit ragged, okay? After you've, after you've cut them off. But don't be discouraged. With a little bit of jiggery pokery, as my my dad would say, you with a little bit of jiggery pokery, you just you smooth them up and you and you and you roll them and you and you make them nice, okay? Till you till you get them looking like these ones. All right. Now with my glasses. Oops, over here. Da, da, da. So, I want to very quickly show you now. What you're going to need is a bit of some soft clay. We're going to turn the wheel off. Let's see if we're in the picture. That's what we need to know. We are in the picture. Yeah, we are. In the right. Take some soft clay. There. There's your there's your little wheel. Now look, you can make these varying thicknesses. Okay. Now I hope you appreciate this, but I'm doing this in a little bit of a hurry. All right. Just because I want to, I want to, um, I want to press on. Because I've actually got some other things I want to do to show you. Um, looking for my fluting tool, which I'm not finding. Yes, it is. There it is. Okay, let's just get, zoom this in a little bit. Maybe a little bit of detail would be a bad idea. Right. So, here is the cobble. Let's just focus like that. Okay. There is the cobble. Now, I want you to take the cobble. I want to take a fluting tool. Now you can do this any way you like, okay? You can make lines across it like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, just carve out some simple flex. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there. See, just flicking out there, making. Do them one way. Da, da, da. Like that, and then I do them going the other way. I'm not really doing this very well. A little bit in a hurry. <sighs> okay, uh, can you see that there? The just flicked out with that. Okay, that's that's one. That's one one way one thing you can do another thing you can do let's say you could take um, the back of a the blade of a knife all right and we're just going to simply make a like this. now you'll be surprised even though you think you're not doing it very well and you're doing it maybe in a bit of a hurry you see what I'm doing there? I'm pressing into the wheel with just the back of the knife, the blunt side of the knife, not the sharp. All right. 
you'll be surprised when you come to actually use these how forgiving they are and how nicely how nice it looks so going around here I hope you can see what I'm doing sometimes with this camera I'm not quite sure I forget that the focus I bring in the focus you know and then I I'm doing something and I, I, I inadvertently I, I'm out of the picture okay now next the next thing is all right in the center here we're going to just give it we're going to key the center like this on both sides scratch it in other words the center like that and we're going to get some um, out of your out of your throwing tray get some slurry like that and he's going to put the slurry there 